former journalist, this lady had the kind of overnight success almost every author dreams for but never achieves. Paula Hawkins, Girl on a Train, number one on both sides of the Atlantic, selling as strongly a year on from when it was published and a major motion picture. Find someone you trust who you can show your work to. The Girl on the Train <laughs> is my, my only thriller. It's the book that has the most of myself in it. I write mostly in the mornings up to mid-afternoon and I just write at home in my study. Well, like lots of people, I started with Agatha Christie, um, um, and nowadays I, I love Kate Atkinson. Um, Pat Barker is another favourite. My guilty pleasure is whenever I'm on tour, whenever I'm travelling, I like to watch Law and Order in my hotel rooms. <laughs> I don't, I'm afraid, that's really boring. I don't have any rituals. I know I wanted to be a journalist, and I was a journalist for many years, um, but then I decided that fiction was more my forte. I tend to sketch out an outline, but I don't plot every little detail. I like to leave myself lots of gaps in the middle to fill in as I go. I, th I actually think I hate questions about questions. So when people say, what's the most interesting question you've ever been asked or what's the most difficult question? And because I can never remember what those questions were. So this is actually a terrible question. Um, not, not touch wood, not a significant amount. I've sort of lost a few, you know, maybe in a few hours or a few pages, but not anything to sort of cry about. I, I don't know, it's difficult to tell, but um, I find it very frustrating to have to rewrite something when you know that somewhere there was, a, there was another version of it. In the author's studio, we're always fascinated by runaway bestsellers. Tell us what you think is so special about Girl on the Train in the comment box below.